everyone. How are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome back to my channel. So finally, I am on Ricky Gervais. I've been saying this for since I started the channel, like I'm gonna be reacting to Ricky Gervais, I'm gonna be reacting to Ricky Gervais and I've never done it. So today, this is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna react to Ricky Gervais. It's, uh, I've seen this stand up but I've only seen it once, but I've seen clips of it on YouTube where, you know, the short clips spread out all over the place. So this one is uh, Ricky Gervais on social media. So without any delays, let's get to it. Once again, we are on Ricky Gervais, uh, why he hates social media so much. Hold up, let me check if I've got everything ready. Yes, so let's get to it. Uh, where is it? But the world is getting worse. And I no. blame the beginning of its demise on social media. Because Twitter and Facebook, that's where this ridiculous notion bred, right? And became stable that it was more important to be popular than right, right? Everything was like me, agree with me. It falls into two tribes. Oh, I don't agree with them, so I'd block them, right? And now in this post-truth era, people don't care about the argument. They don't look at the argument. They say, who's saying the argument? No, they're not on our side, right? It's ludicrous, okay? Exactly. And it also bred this ridiculous notion, we've always had, my opinion is worth as much as your opinion. But now we've got, my opinion is worth as much as your fact. Exactly. Nonsense. Oh. I get tweets from people saying, um, well, I believe the Earth is 6,000 years old. Well, I believe you're a fucking idiot then. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you can have an opinion on the age of the earth, right? You can have your own opinions, but you can't have your own facts, right? Exactly. It's all about being popular, right? And even politicians picked up those symptoms. Politicians tweet now, they want to be popular. We had a referendum about Brexit because they were passing the buck. They didn't want to make a mistake. So, and it, the other thing is this ridiculous thing of, um, oh, let's ask the average person what they think. Let's stop asking the average person. <laughs> What the <laughs> fucking stupid the average person is. Everybody thinks they're smart, including myself. Everybody thinks that. We still sell bottles of bleach with big labels on that say, do not drink. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's take those labels off, right? For two years. And then have a referendum. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen this since it came out, but I've seen clips. No. I... Admittedly, when I first got on Twitter, I pushed my agenda a little bit. I was an outspoken atheist, not because I thought I'd change anyone's opinions, but because I, I thought it was important to tell the other side, you know. Um, th th there's still 13 countries where people are put to death just for being an atheist, and there's people bullied, and I just wanted to say, it's fine to be an atheist, <laughs> it's fine to believe in God, and it's fine not to. That's what I was saying, really. Exactly. And then I realized I didn't even have to tweet about religion or atheism. I could just tweet a fact, and that annoyed just the right people. Uh, <laughs> I tweet things like, happy birthday, Earth, 4.6 billion years old today. And someone would always go, oh, we know what you're fucking doing. We know what you're doing, right? <laughs> he does that. He really fucks with people. He enjoys teasing again, people. That's what the world is like. People take everything personally. I think the world revolves around them, right? Particularly on Twitter, right? I don't know. I'm not tweeting anyone. I'm just tweeting, okay? I don't exactly. know who's following me. I've got 12 million followers. I don't know who's following me. They can be following me without me knowing, right? Choose to read my tweet and then take that personally. Exactly. The town square, seeing a big notice board, and there's a notice, guitar lessons, and you go, but I don't fucking want guitar lessons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you so, mad right. genius. There's a number here. All right, all that, right? <laughs> Are you giving me guitar lessons? Yeah. I don't fucking want any. <laughs> Fine. It's not for you then. Just walk away. Don't worry about it. I should say one thing in Twitter's defense. I mean, I use it as a, a marketing tool and for fun like everyone else, right? Um, but one great thing about Twitter, um, uh, for me personally, I'm very into sort of anti-animal cruelty. And years ago, it would take ages to get 100,000 signatures on a, you know, that's petition true. standing he outside Tesco's or something, right? And that's the magic number because then it gets heard 
uh, you know, in Parliament, and I've been part of many campaigns um, through Twitter that we've got 100,000 signatures in days, maybe, and the law's been changed. So thank you to anyone who's ever retweeted anything to do with animal cruelty, because it really makes a difference. So thank you. Good man. But even something as like clear and distinct as animal cruelty, right? You think no one's going to argue with that, are they? That yes. They will, right? They will. They just want to be heard, right? I'll tweet something about you know, a bull being tortured in a, in a bull ring, right, for entertainment, and I say, ban bullfighting. Someone always says, what about the kids in Syria? What? <laughs> 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 well, I'm not giving you a choice. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Do, do both. I'm not saying, throw that kid back in the hole, there's a bull here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> So that was Ricky Gervais, why I hate social media. And the thing is, I personally only use social media to promote my channel as well. Or whenever I'm, uh, I'll go watch a movie, then I'll write a small, uh, what do you call it, short review on my Facebook or something saying, love this movie, blah, 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 about the movie. And I absolutely 100% agree with the fact that what he said about everybody has their opinion not only that people present their opinion as if it's a fact i can't stand that i really do hate that thing like even a smallest thing like i know like he gave us a, a brilliant fucking example like it's so much we've so much looking to seek attention that it is we care more about what people think online than what people think when we're talking to them face to face. That's how bad we got. Like, people rather have their opinion be heard regardless if it is wrong or not. Regardless if it is uh, factual, they will present it as a factual. And people getting bullied online get bullied at school because they've been bullied online. Even though they might have something really good. I've heard horror stories about this shit. I don't use social media for anything except to promote my YouTube channel. Like, honestly, that's all I do, or my Twitch channel. And I completely understand, we, I, it is, it's a nightmare out there. And I'm so glad I grew up in a time when we didn't have social media. Like, I spent my first 16 years of my life without social media, without Facebook, uh, without any of that. And it was brilliant, it was now everybody's depressed because they're not getting enough likes on, what do you call it, on their tweets. Or they're not getting enough shares on their Facebook, on their pictures. It, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. I love, that's why he's my best comedian ever. Even though I don't watch his stuff as open, especially he doesn't do that many stand-ups. He's, uh, what do you call it, does other stuff, Golden Globe stuff, he's got his movies his tv series afterlife which is absolutely brilliant so i just loved him as the whole package it's absolutely brilliant i'm gonna be doing a lot more i I've, I've, i'm gonna be doing a lot more because i realize i haven't seen an, any of his stand up for quite some time because there's so much stuff out there for him he's just go he's go what do you call his monologue from gold the globe his uh what do you call interviews when he's talking about being atheist and having an argument and his podcast, it's all there, it's so much, Carl Pinkton, uh, Pillington, Carl, oh yeah, you know who I'm talking about, so yeah, that was Ricky Gervais, why are his social media, or just social media, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, because I absolutely loved it, and I think it's so brilliant, and I'm going to be doing a lot more, so keep an eye on it, until then, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time.